Hi Gemini, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. So this reading is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Gemini for the month of October. As a general reading, the messages may or may not resonate for you. You will know if the messages resonate and uh, be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. Sometimes you find that they're more, uh, they have more relevance to you than, or resonate with you more than your sun sign reading. Okay, so Gemini, what energies are around Gemini for the month of October? We're going to get right into this. So Gemini, oh, you have the Tower, you have the Six of Cups, you have the Queen of Cups, you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Two of Cups, you have the Ace of Swords, you have the Hanging Man, you have Death, and you have the Page of Cups. Let's clarify that Page of Cups. What does that Page of Cups represent? Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so Gemini, just give me one moment. You start out, you, you are being represented by the tower here. So some kind of big unexpected change coming in for you. And it's being crossed by the six of cups. Okay, so Gemini, I, there, I feel like there's some very unexpected change coming in for you in October. You're not gonna see this coming. Um, but it is being crossed by the Six of Cups, so I feel like this is... I feel like this is related to your relationships. And I'm not even feeling like it's related to like a current relationship um, or a romantic relationship. I feel like this is related to like family, friends, people you haven't even spoken to or talked to in quite a while. I feel like you're, I feel like this is more you're receiving news about this. Um, about a family member that you haven't heard from in a long time, um, or even a friend, perhaps someone you went to school with, grade school, high school. Uh, just depends, maybe even a past co co-worker or colleague. But whatever it is in dealing with this, uh, you do have you do have someone around you that's very emotionally supportive for you. So if you do find that the information is difficult and challenging, there's someone around you. Uh, she's someone who's very um, empathetic, nurturing, caring, um, just always makes you feel good and makes you feel good about yourself and is very supportive. Um, they're around you to help you, Gemini. You do have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So I think, and I think this will play a, a bit to this Tower energy here too. Because for some of you, it's not going to be about past members, family, anything like that, or people that you haven't had contact with in a while. It could relate to your money, career, finances. It could be, relate to a current relationship. It could just relate to something going on in your life. But with the Wheel of Fortune here in that past position, three months ago to current energy, I feel like how the tower is going to play out is if things have been difficult and challenging for you, that wheel is spinning and the tower actually represents a lightning change in your situation and things will improve. If things have been going really well for you, then the information that tower I think is going to be a little bit more ominous for you and represent possibly bad news or news that, again, a little bit disturbing for you. So I think it just depends on where it is that you've been coming from because that wheel is turning, right, with this Wheel of Fortune. So it can be about things improving if your situation was bad, but it can also be that when things are going really good, you know, that wheel of life, it turns, and then there's always a low point, and there's always high points. That's just the nature of life, right? But crowning you, you do have the Ace of Pentacles. So this does tell me about a new financial opportunity or a new opportunity for stability coming in for you. So if it, this relates to relationships, this is a stable relationship that can come in for you or even a current relationship, but it's adding stability to that relationship. But for others of you, this is an opportunity for you to make a little bit more money, um, perhaps even an investment, or it could even be purchasing a home. But that new beginning, a new start, and something that gives you 
again, stability, but usually in the material world. It's a materialistic beginning for you, which is why we often link it to career money finances. In your near future, you do have a Two of Cups energy here. I feel like that these two are, are really connected here. So for many of you, this is about a stability in a relationship. So for example, if you're dating someone you are now, maybe you're getting engaged. If you are um, engaged, you're getting married. Maybe you're thinking of purchasing a house with your um, significant other. Um, if you aren't in a relationship, this is a new soulmate person coming in for you. And it's one that's a lasting, a lasting relationship opportunity for you. For those of you that where this is about your career though, this can represent um, someone that you're just really in sync with and that ability to work with someone. So it could even be a boss that's very supportive or even a coworker or a colleague, but just very in sync and in tune with each other. And you kind of like play off of each other's strengths and kind of fill in the gaps for, gaps for each other's weaknesses and that kind of an energy. You have the Ace of Swords here, so there's a lot of planning going on with this new opportunity. So again, and it could even be contracts being signed here. In your environment, you have the Hanged Man. I feel like this one is really relating to the Tower because again, that's the environment around you that this, you're seeing everything, you're seeing life from a whole new perspective here is what I'm really getting the sense for you here, Gemini. In your hopes and fears, there is death. Um, so there could be the fear of the change, the unknown of what's going to happen next, right? But this is also a card of hope. You're excited and also about the change. It's, it's, but whatever it is, is whatever is happening here, whatever this Ace of Pentacles represents and this Two of Cups represents for you, Gemini, I feel like this is a change, a transformation. So again, I really feel like this is, um, I really feel like this is related to your status in a relationship. And again, whether or not you're opening a bank account together, you're buying a home together, maybe you're just getting a pet together um, or getting married, I get, whatever it is, it's changing your identity and who you are in the world. There's this transformation here, like the old you is gone and the new you're making way for this new you. And then you have the Page of Cups. So again, an offer coming in for you that is emotional. So... Uh, I'm really feeling like for some of you, you're getting engaged or married or you're buying a home. And that's what this is representing. But whatever it is, it's your hard work and effort. And this is, I get, because this is a card of independence. This is what's clarifying it and you being independent. But also, um, this is also about a card of hard work and achieving financial stability through your effort and hard work. Um, usually your independent effort and hard work, but I feel like it, in this case, as it's clarifying the Page of Cups, I feel like this is you doing it, um, you're building that stability and uh, in your finances, in your house, your home, surrounding yourself with everything that you find uh, comfortable and all the like luxuries and pleasures in life um, with this Page of Cups individual. I feel like you're the Nine of Pentacles and the other person is that's offering their cup of love to you is this Page of Cups. And that's this new beginning, this new offer from this person. So for many of you, I do feel like this is a relationship reading. But for others of you, this will play out into other areas. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull in Archangel Power Tarot card for you, Gemini. Final messages from Spirit for you for the month of October. This is a very interesting read. I'd love to hear feedback in the comments uh, how October plays out for you. Or if you're watching this mid-October, how October is going for you, Gemini. I'd like to know if um, this news, this tower energy, as well as, uh, yeah, this Ace of Pentacles energy, how it's playing out for you. And so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have new beginnings as your card. So this is starting a new life, starting a new chapter, finding your purpose, and a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So, and this is a review of the past here, this energy here. Um, but yeah, it's, and even in this card you see, you know, this angel watching over this family as they're moving forward into this new beginning. So very interesting energy for you, Gemini. I'm going to pull an animal speak rune. I like the animal speak runes. 
and see what animal energy is around you for the month of October, Gemini. So we have, we have the gecko, which is act now. So I am going to read from the book because it's been a while since I have um, looked at these and I want to make sure I'm giving you all of the messages for this. Okay, so with Gecko, the Gecko teaches you to do what you must in all struggles. This is not a time for you to be docile. There is some opposing energies or strife currently at play within your life that we can see that with the tower energy. Now is not the time to be passive. Become clear as to how you feel and how you can act, but be firm in all responses. Respond sharply to competition and opposition. If you do, your efforts will be rewarded and you will be less likely to encounter that kind of opposition and strife again. Geckos are great exterminators of insect pests and in parts of the world are kept in homes specifically for that purpose. When a gecko appears, it is time to do what you must to handle the in-house pests to restore order and bring conflicts to an end in the home. Trust in your righteous anger and respond accordingly. So there you have it, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, join me on the uh, next readings in November. Stay safe and take care.